Good morning, my loves. This is Natalia and it is the uh, 19th of July. <laughs> I always have to double check. What's the date? It's the 19th of July and it's Monday and we're having a heat wave in the UK. Oh my goodness, it's warm. So are you having a heat wave where you are? And how are you staying cool? I need advice. I need some tips from you. <laughs> so Julie Heyman is watching. Hello, Julie. Good morning. I've got seven of you here already. So do say hello, um, pop a comment and let me know how you're doing. Um, Gordo Wright is here. Hello to you. Good morning to you, Nancy. And thank you for the stars, my love. You're so sweet. If anybody else would like to send stars, you'll see there's a little stars icon if you're watching the Facebook live or replay. And if you want to contribute stars, they're one cent each. So they're, they're not very expensive, but it just keeps the channel going, you know, it just keeps the, the page going and all the work that I do for everyone. And I'm very grateful to you for your support. Good morning to Danielle Bowen. How are you doing, my love? I hope you had a good weekend. Good morning to Sue Boys. How are you, sweetheart? Hello to Vanessa Dempsey. How are you, my love? Katie, Katie Klukas. I couldn't say that fast. Katie Klukas. Good morning. Thank you for the stars, Gordo. I really appreciate it. And to Barbara Phipps. Thank you, darling. And Andrea McSkimming sent me stars as well. Oh, you're so generous, you guys. Thank you. Good evening to Nicole South because she's in Australia. How are you? She went to a crystal show and you went a bit, did you go a bit wild in the crystal show? I bet you did. It's hard to resist those beautiful crystals, isn't it? And we've got some beautiful crystals here this morning for our interactive part of our reading, but I'll tell you about those in a moment. We've got Astrid Twig here and we've got Mary Whelan and who else? Who else is here? Pop a comment and say hi if you are joining me. And if you're joining me in the replay, I still like to see your comments, you know. Janine is here. Good morning, Janine. And good morning or good afternoon, evening, sorry. Sonia Anders, how are you, my love? Hello to Teresa McElhill. How are you, lovely? Marilyn Bowditch. Good to see you, Marilyn. Jen Taylor is here. Hello, Jen. And Hazel Kings, you've got me live. I know that's really good of you to be here live. And Nicole just went a little bit mad at the crystal show. If you can't be, go mad buying crystals, when can you be go mad? You know, that's what I say. Anne McGarry is watching from Dublin. Hello. What's the weather like in Dublin? We're having a heat wave here. Now, we like the hot weather, but we don't know how to handle it when it gets super hot like this. And it's even hotter today. And yesterday was pretty pretty steamy um oh god is saying a friend recently introduced me to your page that's so nice i'm so glad your friend introduced you uh, well i hope you like being here with us because we're a, we're a pretty happy bunch and we like to share angelic vibes good vibes positivity that's what we like to do here on this page Diane Shake, good morning. You're saying it's very cold there where you are. Are you in South Africa, I think? Is that right? And Lucy Blex is here. Good morning. Thank you for the stars, Jen. Now, I'm going to be drawing three cards for the collective, and then I'm going to ask you to choose one, two, or three, and you'll be able to get a personal message from the cards. And it's freezing in Australia. Goodness me. This is a topsy-turvy world we're living in at the moment, isn't it? Where it's freezing in Australia and it's boiling here. But boy, oh boy, we're not, we're not geared up for it. I tell you that, we need air conditioning at the moment. And all we have is the ability to open a window and that's it. And it's hotter outside than it is when you open the window. So anyway, so my cousin Jorge Yarse is watching from Monterrey, Mexico. Hello, Jorge. Hola. Buenos días, es muy temprano. <laughs> um, qué bueno que estás viendo. So that's my lovely cousin, Jorge. And thank you for the stars, Nicole. I do appreciate it. Thank you so much. So we've got a full moon. So how do we say that in Spanish? Um, la luna llena. Se llama la luna llena. Um, and that's going to be in the sign of Aquarius. On Saturday the 24th. <laughs> Te quiero también, Jorge. Gracias, primo. Sorry, I'll stop speaking Spanish now. I don't get to speak live with my cousin. It's really lovely. 
Um, so we're going to have um, a full moon in Aquarius and I wanted to draw an extra card for the week because we, whenever we have a full moon or a new moon I always do that. We're also in Leo season. So Jorge, are you a Leo? Eres Leo? Um, so if you're a Leo, happy birthday to you. Let me know if you've got a birthday coming up. Luna Yena, see, sí. so it's a Yama Luna Yena. Um, so we've got a um, Leo season. So let me know if it's your birthday coming up and you are a Leo, because um, all the lovely Leos you're going to be having your birthdays are oh, your Toro. Toro como mi mi um, mi uh, <laughs> what she called me Estela, Estela Toro también. Y mi mamá. So. We're going to have a look and see what are the messages for the week. So the first part of the week. So this is um, Monday, Tuesday, going into a little bit of Wednesday. And our first card is the page of water. So this is going to be quite an emotional start to the week and a very, very intuitive time. And I wonder if some of you can feel this. Can you feel the vibes? Because we're going to be experiencing a really important development. I'm going to talk about this more next week because it starts on Monday the 26th of July when the Lionsgate portal opens and it's a really important portal where we can begin to feel much more connected to everything beyond the veil of life, you know, so the things that we want to manifest we can get really much more closer to our conscious selves and remember what it is that we came here to manifest in this lifetime. So that's from next Monday. But it feels like that veil is thinning and that we're starting to get much more intuitive and much more psychic. Can you feel it? Are you having these little psychic encounters? Are you having these little intuitive episodes where you're thinking, oh, I thought of ringing this person and then they texted you or you thought about somebody you hadn't seen for ages and then all of a sudden um, you got a, a call from them or they sent you a card or something. Really bizarre little things like that. Well, they're not serendipity or coincidence. That is the veil thinning, getting ready for the Lionsgate portal to open next week. So what you can do is you can use this energy and you can use it to attract people onto your pathway. You can use it to start to think about what is it that you want to begin in terms of a new phase in your life? What is it that you want to manifest? You can work with the energies because... Um, they're super powerful and anything your heart wants because this is Leo energy Leo energy works through the heart chakra it is the the heart it's creativity it's our children it's joyfulness pleasure being in the moment enjoying the moment so that is the first part of the week getting those psychic vibes tuning in and I'm just looking to see who else has joined me. Thank you, Carol, for the stars. Good morning to you, Vladimira and Ola. Uh, Danielle's got her birthday on the 5th of August. So happy birthday to you for the 5th of August. Um, Carol Moran's in the house as well. Hello, Carol, how are you doing? Okay, so the next cards that we've got represents the middle towards the Friday, sort of end of the weekdays this week. Beth Wilcox, good morning. So we've got the fire energy coming up since we're in Leo season by the end of the week. And this could be a really important time for you to partner up with somebody. So if you're thinking about joining forces, combining talents, skills, wisdom with somebody, this is going to be a superb week for that and particularly anything to do with creativity. So at the beginning of the week, you can get some very kind of strong vibes about the direction that you want to go in. Certain people can appear and you think, yeah, I feel like I'm connected to you on a soul level. And then this card represents by the end of the week, you actually have come into some kind of agreement with them about how they're going to work with you. What kind of things are you going to collaborate on? Because you see these two different people, they represent people who, you know, this could be you and that person is very different to you and that's a good thing because you bring your own skills and talents 
but they bring theirs and it's a really beautiful cocktail of a combination of um, knowledge, experience, wisdom and we really need that, don't we? We need to um, value the differences in other people because they can bring so much into our lives and we bring so much into their life as well. So any kind of in creative endeavours, they're really well aspected this week. By Friday this week, you could be joining forces with somebody, putting the agreements together. You could be getting a job offer, somebody wanting you on their team. And something that you feel quite um, intuitively drawn towards as well. So what, what I would say is any kind of vibes you're getting, any kind of gut feelings you're getting about anything at all, just trust them. Because believe me, this is such a powerful time for that to, um, your sense of inner knowing to be very, very potent. And to bring the right people into your life as well to help you to achieve that. And Nicole's saying that the dragon on this card always makes me smile. And if he does, he's so cute looking at me. He's just like looking adoringly at that person. He's like, I love you. They're like a happy little bunch of people, aren't they? They look good together, even though they're so different. Gordo, thank you very much. He's like, you like my, you like my voice. Well, that's good to hear. <laughs> okay, so this card represents the energy of the full moon in Aquarius. Now, let me just, before I turn this card over, let me just talk about the Aquarius full moon. Aquarius is the star sign that is all about the collective. It represents the 11th house on the astrological wheel. And the 11th house is about things that are bigger than us. It's the audience that we connect with. It's our friends, the circle that we're in. It's about clubs and associations, like-minded people. It's, you know, crowds of people. It's, it's the, the bigger collective. It's also about, you know, ideas that can come out of the blue because it's ruled by the star sign, sorry, by the planet Uranus. So we could have some really powerful insights and aha moments around that full moon in Aquarius on Saturday. So let's take a look and see what is coming to fullness. So we've got the King of Water and this is all, all about compassion. And um, it's, you know, he, he's a very open hearted person. He's very well respected. Look at him. He's holding himself up, upright, arms folded. He's proud of himself. And he seems to have collected this little audience of fishes and a dolphin there. And he's got people around him. And the people that really respect him and look up to him. So this could be you. You know, we get this message a lot about maybe you want to start some kind of social media platform. Maybe you want to get a page going and you want to talk to people about what you're interested in and inspired by and you can attract like-minded people towards you. And you know that one of the things that they talk about um, a lot in social media is the micro-influencer, the power of the micro-influencer because you could have an audience of a million people but you wouldn't be very closely connected to those people because there's so many of them. If you had a hundred people who were following you, who liked your page, who were part of your little group, and they were all engaged and you could really be close to them and connect with them and chat to them, a bit like we're doing here every Monday. I see the same names come up, the little profile faces, and I just feel so close to you, you know, even though there are, um, we're, we're scattered around across the world, but we've got this common bond in the fact that we love to get together and we like to talk about angels we like to do little readings we like to develop our intuition and so I'd much rather have this connection with you than have a million followers I honestly would because I just feel as though I know you and I've never met most of you but it's a it's a lovely feeling that we're drawn together for some reason and that's the energy of the king of water it's like being joined through the heart space through the shared love of something and that you could be this very well respected figure you don't have to have millions of followers to have an influence in fact you know now the the debate is around the fact that if you have a smaller following but a very powerful engagement with them that there's so much potency within that and it's far more effective than just millions of random people who you never actually get close to. So value those connections. You may not have tons of friends, 
but the ones that you do, you know, those one, two, three important people who mean so much to you, they're everything. So value them. And you're valued too because you have so much to offer. So I'm just going to take a little sip of water because I am literally drying up here. And um, just check in and see who else has joined me when we do the interactive messages now. So we've got um, Pauline Nicholson's joined us. Hello, Pauline and Sonal Shah, Beth Wilcox, um, Kenzie Char is watching. Uh, who else? Who else? Margarita Jeffries, you said you're going to catch up on the replay. Well, if you're still here, Margarita, hello. And if you're watching the replay, hello again. Okay, so let's have a look and see what our messages are for you personally. So I've got Helen Quinn, good morning. I've got um, one, two and three. So number one is the green Helorite Pyramid. It's a beautiful stone, that. And then number two is a quartz point it's got lovely clarity at the end of it and then it's a, a bit cloudy down there i love the way it's all kind of rough and rugged it's literally just grown like that they form in that way they aren't um they aren't cut into that shape that is the the natural formation which is so beautiful and then number three is the pink calcite star there okay Right, so let's start with number one. If you chose the Helorite Pyramid, this is all about getting your foundations in place, really establishing yourself. It might be slow growth, but it's very steady and it's gonna help you to rise up to the pinnacle of whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. So you've, this is the message if you were drawn to the pyramid, it's very healing. It's a time for you to create that base from which to grow and ascend from or ascend to, should I say. And the the green is all about the heart chakra, so it's all about pursuing what you love, We've got siren going past. Um, it's all about you really connecting with your heart space. What does your heart want you to do? What feels right? Trust your vibes. Remember this week's such an important week um, for doing that. And Sonia's saying, that's my mountain. Absolutely. So your card, this is a card that I've drawn from my own oracle deck, which is the Oracle of Wisdom and Beauty by me. So this is your message. Oh, look, we've got a lot of green here and we've got the number 31. So what we always do is add the digits together and three and one makes four. Now the angel number is four and we've got four corners on the pyramid. We've got the square, which has got four sides. So it's very much about having firm foundations and not giving up. You know, whatever you've created already, whatever's been in your heart and that you've been trying to bring to life, it's really important that you don't give up on it now because there's so much progress that you've made and I don't think you're acknowledging that. I don't think you're being honest with yourself about just how much you, how far you've come. And your angels are trying to say to you, you are not alone. This is a healing journey and the process of healing can be painful, can't it? You know, and imagine if you have a poorly tooth and you need to get the decay drilled out of it. And so, oh, in order to get that on the healing journey, you have to go through the process of a lot of pain in order to get yourself free of the toxins. So... If you have been releasing anything, if you've been going through this healing, you know, it could well be that this full moon in Aquarius, because it's all about the collective, um, it could be that you're releasing a lot of painful stuff. It could be that you're releasing people from your life who don't serve you anymore. But just because you've done that doesn't mean you're alone. What you're doing is you're creating a space to live in a place with people who really do get you and who are right for you. So sometimes we have to make those adjustments. We have to change our team of people that are surrounding us in order to make sure that we are acquainted with the right ones who really love us for who we are. So don't give up because you've got so much more living to do. So that's your message if you chose number one in that pyramid. Let's have a look. 
at number two. And Jen's saying, you love my deck, you use it a lot. Oh, that's so nice. I'm so glad to hear that because I know quite a few of you have got my card deck and, um, and I really appreciate it. It's so lovely knowing that it's out there and being used by you. So this is the clear quartz. It's a little bit cloudy here, but it does rise up to a clear point up here. And clear quartz is all about cleansing. It's a very cleansing stone. And quartz as a crystal helps to even out any kind of uneven or erratic energy. So they originally used quartz crystals in timepieces, in clocks, even Greenwich Mean Time at one time was, was regulated by a quartz crystal. I don't think it is now, but it was. And that's because it has this ability to smooth out this dissonant energy. And so the message for you today is things are being cleansed. And that's what happens when we have a full moon. A lot of things come up to the surface for us to deal with. So we might be feeling very emotional this week. The emotions could feel like a little bit of a storm inside of us. And then when it comes out and it gets released, it's a little bit like all of this. The clarity appears. And we get to the point where we know where we're headed. But sometimes things have to get worse to get better. And so this quartz is saying to you, do a lot of cleansing in your life. Maybe there's some decluttering that you need to do because energetically, you know, the spaces that you occupy in your home, outside your home, you know, I used to have this backyard around the back of my kitchen and I never went around there. I just used to dump loads of stuff there for years. And then eventually me and Estella, we cleared it out. And just the feeling of clearing that space, it really did make things feel different energetically. So do some clearing out this week and you will be really glad that you did. It's a big old heavy piece of crystal, that. So this second message from my Oracle of Wisdom and Beauty is another number four. Isn't that interesting? So the angels are out in force today because this is the angel number. Again, we've got another message about the heart chakra. And the lesson of self-care is a really important one. Can't stress this enough, and it comes up a lot, this message, but we've got to take care of ourselves. We've got to nurture ourselves. We've got to treat ourselves like our own best friend. And often we arrange to do things for other people. We, you know, we make nice meals for people. We, we arrange little surprises and gifts. And when was the last time you did something really sweet and kind and caring for yourself? I hope it's very lately that you've done that. And if you haven't, I want you to do it today. And this card is saying that to you. That the lesson for you is if you don't take care of yourself, what then happens is that you just end up feeling as though you're not important, you're not worthy, that you're forgotten about, not wanted but you've got to want yourself most. First and foremost, you've got to be your own cheerleader. That is a sad fact of life. You know, we can get all of this support and this love from outside of ourselves, but when that support's withdrawn or something happens, that leaves a big hole in our lives. So if we love ourselves, if we're giving ourselves all of the, the care and the nurturing that is important to give ourselves, then we'll never be without that, will we? Because we haven't endless ocean of love we, we could give that to others all day long but we've got to begin with ourselves because when you feel good about yourself life feels good doesn't it and sometimes we have to build that relationship with ourselves sometimes there's things that we don't like about ourselves and we spend a lot of time focusing on those things well this week it's all about you focusing inwards what is beautiful and lovely about you what do you love about yourself dig deep or hopefully you won't have to get dig too deep to, to discover that. So that is what has come into fullness. Sue is saying four is your favourite number. I think four is my favourite number at the moment as well. Oh, so Sue, you're saying you drew the busy B card. That's good. I'm glad these messages are significant for you. And our final message comes from this pink calcite. And um, this star shape. Now the star shape is very much about you being the star of your own movie. It's about you are 
made of stardust, you are part of the cosmos and you have a universe going on inside of you, you know, just even with those seven energy centers. And we've got a lot more than seven energy centers, but we tend to think of the, the seven major energy centers and they are like a little universe going on inside of us. And the, the star always looks like a person to me, the little legs and arms and the head. And you are such a star. And you came here to do something that nobody else is going to do or could possibly do because you're the only person that can do this. So this movie that you're starring in, the role was created specially for you because nobody could play it like you can. And you know, with any good movie, the star goes through all kinds of different trials and tribulations. You're not meant to have this smooth life where everything's perfect because that would make it a really boring storyline, wouldn't it? But you want to see that star of the show break down and then break through and rise up and become even more powerful than when they began. Because of the things that was trying to pull them down and they pulled themselves back up again and they rose even higher. So you are that star and always remember that and give yourself a lot of love for everything that you do. Every day you just keep on going and that makes you, truly makes you a star. So the message here, if this is a number four, I will be flabbergasted. <laughs> it isn't a number four, but we two out of three ain't bad. All right, so we have the turkey card. We've got the number 36. And when we add three and six together, we get nine. And nine is the number of nearly being there. Like you're nearly there. Wherever there is, you're, you're nearly, you've nearly reached it. It's coming to the end of some kind of really big spiritual expansion, growth, adventure. Justice is done. I'm glad these are really resonating with you today, Beverly. Thank you so much for the stars. So it's important for you to keep on nourishing yourself because that nourishment and that, you know, taking care of your well-being every day, it's like all the little extra grains that they give to the turkey and then it grows into this colossal bird and, uh, and you really are growing. And one of the things that I feel like I need to say to you with this message today is that I don't think that you've seen how much you've grown and how much you've come on this year. So just like, you know, did you ever have a height chart for you kids or when you were growing up, your parents ever do like a little height measurement and we don't notice that growth because every day it's just happening, you know, little millimetres of growth and then before we know it, we're five feet tall, we're six feet tall and that's you. You've grown so much this year, but you can't see that because you keep looking in the mirror and seeing yourself every day or you keep you're not actually taking stock of everything that you've done, everything you've achieved over the year. And I'm not just talking about achievements in terms of the worldly sense. I'm talking about these emotional achievements, this strength that you're building. So your angels want you to know that they wish you could see how much you've grown like they can see that. Because in the spiritual realms, in the angelic realms, they see everything and they recognize that growth. And... The expansion is just enormous. So well done you. So those are your messages, my love. I'm just going to take a sip of water because it's so hot in here. So I will be very glad to be able to get the door open <laughs> and uh, cool off a little bit. But wherever you are, I hope you enjoy this week. I hope you have a really fabulous full moon. Now, I did promise that we were going to do a I'm going live every day week and um, I will be doing that very soon. So I'll let you know because we did get our stars goal and I want to thank everybody personally for all the stars that you sent me today. And thank you for being here with me. Thank you for your messages. And um, if I haven't said hello to everybody, I do appreciate you being here. Just a quick hello to Helen Quinn, to, sorry about this, uh, Kathleen's here. And um, Beverly, you were saying that you um, everything resonated with you. Thank you so much. And I'm glad you like the star, Nancy. So thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful week. Take care. And sending lots and lots of love and angel blessings your way.